Good day, guys. Welcome to my RSY 50 video. Today, I'm going to talk to you guys about NRL's week three of the finals. Tips and predictions for 2023, guys. So let's get started. So, starting off with this first game of this match, we see the um, Penrith Panthers going up against the Melbourne Storm. Now, this game's going to be real tough and real hard. Um, the Panthers, they've been absolutely really good uh, lately, and obviously they're the same as obviously last year and the year before. They can just roll over you uh, whenever you want. Um, they're a team that can just be a very good team. And with Nathan Cleary um, in that side, he is just a smart player that can know what he can do in the right time and the right frame of mind. But then again, you've got the right coach in that side, Ivan Cleary, Stephen Crichton, Brian To'o, Sunia Tuffa, and uh, Dylan Edwards. But also, um, Mitch Kenny, um, James Fisher-Harris, Isaiah Yo, uh, Liam Martin, all those type of players out there, they've been doing excellent for the team. And that's right, they've been doing absolutely excellent for the team. And that's why the Panthers are a really good team anyway. But let's go, let's go to um, the Melbourne Storm. Now, in this game, um, the Melbourne Storm, they've been absolutely really great um, in their form. But no Xavier Coates, which I do believe, um, which I reckon he will play um, the grand final if that happens. But I don't think it will happen. Let's see what they have to offer and, like, against uh, any other teams anyway. So, in this game, um, it's going to be a real tough and real hard game. Because, obviously, the Storm are a really good team and so are the Panthers. But in this one, I'm going to go with the Panthers by 1-12. to The Storm will basically uh, try and score tries um, in this game. And so will the Panthers. So it will be a tough match in Penrith Stadium. So I'm going to go with the Panthers by 1-12. to By 12 points in this game. And finally, the next game of this match, we see the Bron Broncos going up against the Warriors. Now this game is going to be a real tough and real hard game. As the Warriors played absolutely really good last week. So did the Broncos last week also too. But then again, uh, the Broncos are just a team that can just be a tough team. But with Adam Reynolds in the side, he's doing absolutely smart like what Nathan Cleary does with any move because he's obviously in that number seven side for the team. But then again, you're going up against Sean Johnson in that side for the team. So it will be tough and hard. But then again, um, this team will determine that um, if they can really hope that we'll win. But for the Broncos, they've been absolutely really great uh, for this season. So I wouldn't be surprised if like they win up against the Warriors. But then again, the Warriors did play a very good match last week, defeating um, the Knights in that game. And they'll look to determine um, whether or not if Sean Johnson can play, step up his game, and learn how to make moves right and correctly. So then again, Sean Johnson, going up against Adam Reynolds, these two players have been absolutely really hard, and Reynolds has been doing it tough um, with his boys, and so is uh, Sean Johnson also too. So um, in this match, I am going to go with the Warriors in this game. By two points in this match, and yeah, by one to twelve. This is obviously the finals, and Broncos will look determine like whether or not if they will play hard or not. But I reckon I'll come out firing in this game, first half and second half, to make it a really good uh, draft for the team. So in this match, I'm going to go with the Warriors by two points in this game. Anyway, guys, that's all for me. Make sure you do like and subscribe, guys, and I'll see you guys next time.